Hello again, Kevin Ring here. Welcome to the channel. On a previous video, I showed some of the updates of uh, Event Master 9.2, and in one of them I highlighted the new methodology of working with super destinations and super layers. Uh, a question that has popped up then was super auxes, uh, what they are, when to use them, why they're cool, and uh, how to set them up. So uh, that's what we're going to dive into today. So let's get into it. So we know that an aux destination is a destination that allows me to route an input source or another destination onto it, utilizing no canvas and no layers. Super cool. Uh, super aux now allows me to take multiple aux destinations and group them and control them together and even share content across them. So let's set it up. Uh, I'm gonna do it with two auxes first. So I'm gonna add an aux destination and I'm going to add a second aux destination. I'll call this DSMA and DSMB. I'm also going to build a two projector blend just to say that I did. I'll do this with HDMI. Add screen destination, add screen destination. I'm not going to bother doing the overlap or anything like that. So now I'm going to build my super aux. Ah, so this is one new thing. So as of 9.2, note that aux destinations now default to being custom scaling. Custom scaling auxes cannot be added to a super though. So I do need to go into the aux and set the scaling capacity to all. And now I can add it back into my super destination or my super aux. So to repeat, I changed the aux scaling type from custom to all, and then I could add it to my super aux. So that's just one little thing you have to now do as of 9.2. Uh, this might change when it's out of beta though. Great. So if I go to my programming page, uh, sure enough, I have all my screens arranged. I have DSMA, DSMB, blend, and super destination, or super aux. So let me build some input sources as well, just to say that I did. Uh, da, 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 da. Add multiple inputs, very good. Let me add some connectors here. We'll make this graphics, Mac one. Um, I'm just picking these at random because of the fun colors and notes. Great. So at this point now, not much really changes in my workflow. I can build my aux looks and treat them independently. Now, that said, what if there's a scenario where I have a two-projector blend that I want to send to my aux? First, I do need to make sure I set my capacity, which I should have done first. That's going to be a problem. So <laughs> what I did, and here's a mistake, I'm not going to bother editing this out, is I want to take my destination as a source and drop it onto my super aux. However, the aux capacity doesn't work. So what I need to do is I actually need to delete the uh, super aux first. So I'm going to actually let me try one thing. Ah, here we go. I can do this in the super aux now. So I can change aux capacity from 2K to dual link, which will update the two auxes. Very cool. So what I've done is I've increased the capacity of the aux destination. So I can now show dual link sources. So if I take my blend and drop it in, I can now see it here. Now here's where it gets really fun. Rather than having my uh, source just be on one DSM, I can now double click it. Ooh, and have it stretch across both DSMs. So now rather than having to have scaling a letter box and pillar box, I can have my screen blend look much better across my two DSMs. And then when I need to, I can double click and set it back to normal. So either way, same idea. Maybe I want notes and I want this to spread across my DSM. I can double click and now the miscellaneous has spread across the entire DSMs. So that's pretty nifty. Um, for notes, next slide, blend, things of that nature. That said, let's, uh, let's kick it up a notch. So that's one use case of super auxes. Let me just delete all my destinations. So now I'm going to build a few more auxes. I'll build, I'll build six of them. 
I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do with uh, super oxes. So I have six oxes. And I am just going to go in and make sure that they're set to uh, all for the scaling. Possibly, I'll, uh, I'll message Barco and see if uh, I can make a request to have this change. But I see why it's this way. All right, now I'm going to create a super ox. I'm going to add all my oxes to it. So by default, this arranges all of my aux destinations in a, in a long sliver, so six by one. Cool. However, under the assign, I can alter this and maybe do a three by two or a two by three or any other iteration that gives me six. So I'm going to do this as a three by two. Cool. Um, let me just add a few more input sources for this example here. Inputs, add multiple, and let's take a gander. So sure enough, here are all my aux destinations. And I can program these the same way as before. Just make, add some pretty colors. These are pure arbitrary. So I can drop all my sources in. Come on. And look at how they're actually assembling here onto my super aux. That's kind of cool. So that's fun. Uh, if I look at my super aux up close, I can see all my screen uh, destinations, all my auxes comprised. The other cool thing is I can actually do all the switching from here as well. So while that's cool, it's not that cool. But what I can do now is imagine these are all uh, individual HD monitors. I can now take one destination ooh, and have it span across the actual monitors. I can put it back and now I can take these into just about any iteration I want. If I double click on a source as well, it's going to go full screen spanning all of the screen destinations. So making monitor walls now is really, really fun. Uh, imagine this is a sports book for your customer for Final Four and basketball and it's like, okay, time for the big game or you know, time for the Super Bowl and you can make those all full screen. Friendly reminder, this uses zero canvas and zero layers. So that's really nifty. Uh, in addition, like the super destinations, I can actually move these across reality as well. So if I'm building a monitor array or a monitor wall uh, for a trade show, I can arrange the TVs however I need them to be. And now, sure enough, this is how it shows on the programming page. And I can now double click and take it to full screen while accounting for the negative space. So just a fun little uh, quick tutorial for you on super oxes. Uh, try them out. They're pretty straightforward. Just take your time with them. Be organized as always. Um, you know, save all, same off, save often. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, the whole you know, like, subscribe thing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and try them out. I think it's going to really benefit your workflow tremendously.